In a North County community are still in shock after two people were found dead inside of a home over the weekend. Police responded to the scene on Redford Drive uh, right by police headquarters there. When they got there, they found a 53 year old man and a 53 year old woman and an 11 year old dead inside the house with police saying both of them had been stabbed multiple times. Our Shoshana Stahl in the newsroom this evening with new details in this very disturbing case, Shoshana. Sam, we know from court documents that 11 year old called her mother back in Seattle telling her she had been stabbed. After calling police, that mother then called the home back where police say the suspect picked up the phone and he was breathing heavy as he told the woman her daughter was asleep. It's a tragedy continuing to leave that Berkeley neighborhood shaken up. From the looks of the paramedics and the guys that went in there and came out of there, it was something horrible. Sharon Thomas watching from his front yard Saturday night as Berkeley police surrounded his neighborhood in crime scene tape. Officers were responding to a welfare check at this home around 445, finding a 53 year old woman and an 11 year old girl stabbed to death inside. That's a kid. It's you can be evil, but a kid. You got to be real evil. More than two days later, neighbors still haunted as blood stains the sidewalk. This man, Lorente O'Kane, has been charged in the murder of his mother, Miyoshi McLeod, and his niece, Mayel Harris. They found the suspect standing in the front yard covered in blood. Berkeley Police Major Steve Rungi says officers responded to that house twice in the past, but it didn't raise any red flags at the time. First Alert 4 looked deeper into O'Kane's criminal history in Washington state, ranging from assault to second degree robbery to felony firearm possession. We found uh, his arrest history in Seattle is a very violent past. Inside the home, officers found large amounts of blood and three knives that were used. According to court documents, it was the niece's mother back in Seattle who called 911 after her daughter called her saying she'd been stabbed. We sent an I pray up to the family. Carla lived just a few houses down, saying the suspect, his mom, and his niece moved to the neighborhood a little over a year ago. On our street, we welcome people in if we get to know you. And that's exactly what she did. With her friend, she nicknamed Mimi. Carla was devastated by the loss, remembering Miyoshi McLeod as a sweet, hard-working woman. We'll sit right there near her and just sit out here while it's cool and just talk. And she had a beautiful voice, y'all. Oh, my God. Court records also show just one week before they were murdered, the victim reported her son was threatening her and his niece. Police say they told McLeod the process to get a restraining order, but she didn't follow up. O'Kane is being held in the St. Louis County Jail without bond. Justin, Sam. All right. Thanks, Oshana, for your live reporting. Well, shots fired.